So once there was this guy named Moses, and he got in this huge fight with an Egyptian because he, wait, let's go backwards. I mean forwards. You remember Moses, right? He did some awesome stuff, like parting the Red Sea and leading his people across. For the time he went up on the mountain and God gave him the Ten Commandments, and then Moses broke them. Oh. Well, this whole thing really starts way before that, like before he was even born. A whole bunch of Moses' people called the Hebrews had moved into Egypt, and the Egyptians didn't like them because they were different, so they kind of bullied them. Oh. But it didn't matter because the Hebrews were hardy people, and they multiplied. And then Pharaoh, who was like the ruler of Egypt, didn't like them in their multiplication. So he made the Hebrews slaves and made them work hard and build all sorts of ridiculous Egyptian things. But it didn't matter because the Hebrews were hardy people, and they multiplied. So Pharaoh called on some Hebrew midwives who were like ancient baby doctors and gave them some new rules for Hebrew babies. If the baby is a girl type, let her live. But if it's a boy type, kill it dead. Oh. So the midwives headed out and they almost did this terrible thing. But then they thought that God probably wouldn't be a fan of that. So they didn't. And guess what? The heck? The Hebrews multiplied. <laughs> and Pharaoh was pretty ticked off again. So he made a rule that all the Hebrew boy babies must be thrown in the Nile. <laughs> He really hated boy babies. Okay, so now this is the point where Moses comes into the picture. His mom was really sad that she had to throw him into the river, so she didn't. Well, she did, but in a basket so he'd be safe and hidden in the reeds. Oh, and also Moses' sister was there too. So then Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to play and bathe and stuff, and she saw baby Moses hanging out there in the reeds. A baby! So she went down and grabbed the baby, and she loved it, but she didn't really feel like taking care of it because she was a princess after all. So she said, Who's gonna take care of this baby? And Moses' sister popped up and was like, I know just the lady. Lady. Let's play, baby! So she went and got Moses' mom, which worked out pretty well. She took Moses back and fed him and other babies. And then he grew up. Growing up montage, montage, growing up montage. Eventually, Moses went back to the palace and got to grow up like a prince with cool toys and things. Yeah. One day later, Moses went out to watch all the Hebrew slaves who were still working hard on Egyptian things, and a man fell down, and one of the Egyptian masters started beating him like some sort of crazy. This made Moses pretty freaking mad, so he attacked the Egyptian. <laughs> Oh, dear. And Moses killed the Egyptian. He didn't mean to, but he still did. He didn't want anybody to know, so he buried him in the sand. Hello, 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 hello. Huh? What? Oh, 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 what? Oh! The next day, Moses was out watching the slaves again, and he saw two of them fighting about something stupid. You stupid hat. And he was like, guys, you shouldn't be mean to each other. Hello, but he killed a guy. But the guy was like, uh, being mean, like, uh, killing a guy? Uh-oh. And Moses knew everybody knew, including Pharaoh, who tried to kill him. So Moses ran away and sat down by a well. Epic fail! Hello, 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 hello. Oh, oh well, hello, 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 hello. What do we have in Boom. here? Oh, oh, Egyptian. Okay, what else do we have? Hello. Oh, 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 oh two by two. Okay, over there. Let's see what else we have. Oh, hey, hello. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, oh. 